Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to fix Ford Solis is crashing at startup. So we're going to talk about how to fix this issue when you have when you're trying to play the Ford Solis, which is a latest released game. So let me directly get into the steps one by one. The first one, when you're having these kind of trouble, the all we have to do is we just need to follow these instructions, which is going to help you guys out. So this particular game is having a lot of trouble and many users are trying their hard to make this up. So we're going to talk about how we can fix this very easily at the same time. We have to keep in mind that this is going to help us a lot. So the first one is all about we have to try with a simple restart and that is what we have to do. For many of the users when they did a simple restart it worked for them. So we need to try with a simple restart. For doing a simple restart, what we need to do is we just need to go over here in this particular start icon. Now from here, we just need to go over here, go to this power, uh, this power, uh, this power icon. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on this one and we have to go for shutdown, sh uh, restart option. And once we're done with the restart, we need to try to play the game. So this is the first and foremost step we have to try out when you're having an issue. If that is not working, we can try with the next one. Next one is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So most people end up in launch the game from Steam, which is causing the issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. For this, we just need to go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here, we have to go to the install it file and there is an option called browse. Just click on the browse. So when you click on the browse, as you can see, that is redirect you to this particular folder. That is this PC, Volume D, Steam Library, Steam Amps, Common, Ford Solids. From here, you can see this is the application. Try launch the game from here. That is launching the game from the installation folder. Did work for many users instead of launching the game from Steam. So try launching the game from here and it will be working for you guys. Next one, hence we're in the installation folder. I'm going to show you two more steps. That is all about we need to run the game as an administrator for running the game as an administrator we have to go over here in this particular icon right click over here and go to the show more option and we have to go to the properties go to the compatibility we have to go for rent this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game that is what we have to do so once you are done with this one we need to try launching the game the next one is all about not launching the game after running the game as an administrator if the issue is still there we can try just running the game in the compatibility mode for this we just need to go over here right click and go to the show more options and we have to go to the uh, properties go to compatibility there is an option called compatibility mode so we just need to click on this one that is run this program in compatibility mode so we have two option, many options, either we can keep this to Windows 7 and go for apply and go for OK, or we can set this to Windows 8 and you can go for apply and go, you can go for OK. So once you're done with this one, that running the game in the commodity mode, as well as running the game from the, uh, I mean, launching the game from the installation folder, running it as, as, as an administrator. If the issue is still not working, we can try with the next one. Next one is all about, we need to do is we just need to make sure the date, time and region is correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search, go for settings over here, go to the settings. Now from here, we have to go to the time and language, go to the date and time, make sure the time and time zone should be turned on. That means both automatically, it should be turned on and this will as we turn it on. So if it is turn it off, that is going to make a lot of trouble. So keep in mind, you have to turn this on, go back and we have to go to the language and region. From here, we have to make sure the location should be correct according to your geography. For example, if you're from United States, you have to select United States. So this has to be correct. And this is very important. And once you're done with this one, just close this and we have to go back and we need to try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to do is we just need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just click on the play button. The moment you are clicking on the play button, simultaneously you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. That is what you have to do. Just press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. And once you press Alt and Tab from the keyboard, most probably the issue will be completely fixed. And this is what you have to do. So just press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about nothing but we have to do is we just need to delete the saved game files. So when you start playing the game, the progressions will be saved. So just go to this PC over here. 
go to the documents right now as you can see we have fifa 22 call of duty uh, overwatch ratchet and clank drift apart the creed 2 etc in the same way we will be having the folder for the fort so when you start playing the game and saving it so what we need to do is once you start saving you just need to delete the respective one keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine just delete it once you delete it you just need to close this and we need to go back and we need to try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to window security for this reason we have to go over here in the search we have to go for control panel we have to search for control panel over here and we have to go to system and security we have to go for windows defender firewall go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to navigate to f hence it is an alphabet keep searching for f so as you can see the fourth solace is already added so fourth solace is added make sure the private and public should be marked that means it has to be checked and it is checked as it is but imagine the game is not here and you wanted to add it by default and how to add it just click on the change settings go for allow another app go for browse so go to this pc and hence the game is installed on d so i have to go to d go to steam library go to steam amps go to common from here i have to select the fourth solace and i have to select this and go for open and i have to add it so here i've already added once you add the game to windows security just close this and we have to go back and we need to try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with many things for example joystick logitech wheels you know many controllers might be connected so all these are one of the reason why we are having this issue so what we need to do is we just need to remove everything from the usb port just keep removing everything from the usb port and once afterwards we just need to launch the game and once you launch the game we have to keep in mind you have to connect it back and try playing the game it worked for many of the users and you can try this out as well even if you wanted to play the game with the controllers just uh, remove everything first launch the game once the game is successfully launched try connecting it back and most probably that's gonna help you guys out next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot just go over here in the search and we have to search for system configuration over here we need to search for system configuration now from here we have to navigate to services and we have to go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok so those users who are watching this you can go for restart but i am here in the middle of shooting so i'm gonna go for exit without restart so once you're done with this one just go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to disable the steam overlay for this we just need to go to the game right click over here and go to the properties go to install it file and just click sorry not install it file just go over here and under the general make sure this is turn it off if it is turn it on we have to turn this off so once you turn this off we just need to launch the game and over here as you can see if trying with the disabling the steam overlay it's still it's not working we have to try with the next one that is all about we need to give the commands in the launch option so the first command is over here that is dx11 is the first command so we can give the dx11 and try launch the game so dx11 is what we need to try if dx11 is not working we can try with dx12 and we can try launch the game so we can try with either dx11 or you can try with the dx12 so any one of the thing has to be correct and that is going to help you guys out so it worked for many users including the ratchet and clank rift apart remnant 2 and even for the very recently uh, games uh, this one texas the chain massacre it all worked for them with the launch option so you can try it as it is next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card if we just go over here in the search and we have to search for graphics settings over here like this just search for graphics settings go to the graphics settings over here and as you can see there are many games already added so we have to add the same just so just click on the browse now from here we have to go to this pc put in local disk d if the game is installed and in my case it is d so just go over here and go to the steam library go to the steam apps go to the common over here go to the food solace and we have to select this and we have to go for add and we have to add the game so just the game is added over here as you can see now from here we have to go to the options and right now as you can see by default this is let windows decide we have to change this to high performance and once you change this to high performance we have to go for save so once you go for save and we have to close this and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game 
Next one is all about nothing but we have to close all the overlay application which is one of the main reason why we are having crashing issue. For this we just need to go over here, go to this particular icon over here, right click and we have to navigate to the task manager. Right now as you can see there are 33 sorry there are 53 background apps right now so when you launch the game simultaneously all these apps are running in the background so this is one of the main reason why we are having crashing issue for me it's not it's not an issue because i'm having a 32 gb of ram and i'm having a good processor so even there are a lot of apps running in the background that's not going to affect me out but imagine what happens is if you're trying to launch the game with an 8GB of RAM and these things are running in the background, you'll be definitely having the worst nightmare. So what we need to do is we just need to go over here and we need to find, for example, the applications like Discord and Driva Tuner, MSA Afterburner, which all comes to the category of overclocking and overlay applications and we have to remove it. So once you remove it, we just need to close this and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game. I mean we have to increase the virtual memory. For increasing the virtual memory we just need to go over here. We just need to search for view advanced system settings. Just click on this one. Click on the advanced button over here. Go to the settings. Go to the advanced once again. Go for change. Make sure that you have to keep this blank. If you mark this you will not be able to select anything here. So just keep this blank and select the local disk where the game is since start and in my case it is D. I have to go for custom size and set the value initial size which is 1.5 times the total RAM. The maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So we need to set the value. So we need a calculator. So we just need to search for the calculator over here. So when you search for the calculator, just go over here. So this is what we need to do. So we just need to type the RAM. So 32 GB is my RAM. So you just need to type your RAM, multiply it with 1024 and multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 14 and 1,152. So just paste it. And for the maximum size, we have to set this. That is 32 GB multiplied with 1024. And we have to multiply it with 3. That is 98304. So we just need to copy and we have to paste it. So just go over here. Go for this OK. Go for this OK and set this up. And we just need to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about once you're done with this one, still the issues there we can try with updating the graphics card. For updating the graphics card, we have to go over here in this link. So I'll be providing link in the description to both NVIDIA, those users on the AMD as well. So NVIDIA users have to go to the respective link in the description and that will take you to this. And from here, you have to select the product type. You can select the product type. You have to select the product series. You have to select the product over here according to configuration. You have to select the operating system. If you're on Windows 11, select this one. If you're on Windows 10, select this one. So I'm from on Windows 11, so I have to select this one. And once you go for it, you need to go for start search. So what happens is you'll be getting all the details on the latest release for the graphics card. So just go over here. You can see the 536.99 is the latest release to graphics card and it is released on 8th August 2023. So just download this, install, restart is a mandatory. And if you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details over here. And once you select every details and go for submit. Now, from here, if you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you have to download this one. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launching the game. Next one, if you're voting over here in the Microsoft, we should see plus plus over here as you can see. So we just need to go over here. We just need to. So if the system is based on x64, you have to download this one. If the system is based on x86, you have to download this one. And restart is a mandatory one. So even after trying all these things, the issue is not working and you're having a lot of trouble, then you can try three main steps. And one among them is verify integrity of game file. For the verify integrity of game file, we just need to go over here, right click and go to the properties, go to the install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by verify integrity of game file. So we have to start with this and once it reach 100 percentage you will be getting the play button once again and you have to launch the game so this is what we have to do and that is you just need to wait this to reach 100 percentage and once afterwards i'll be guiding you for the next
So right now, as you can see, the 420 files were successfully validated and you need to launch the game. So it worked for many of the users, verify integrity of game file is one of an important step and you can try launching the game afterwards. So even after trying with the still the issues there, you can just go over here in the search and you can try updating the windows. So just go over here in the bottom left and from here you have to cross check that whether you are on the windows up to date or not. So if not up to date, you just need to update the windows. If you're having any kind of these KB update, just download and install it and make sure you're up to date. Trying with all these things, the issues there and still it's not working. You can try with one final step to so just go over here, right click and go to the manage and install the game. And we can, you need to reinstalling it back. So you have to keep in mind when you're reinstalling it back, it should not be on the same local disk from which you already uninstalled. So I'm having the game right now on D. So I'm uninstalling the game from D and reinstalling it on, on D is not going to work. So I have to change from D to C or I have to change to E. So for me, it worked for the game Back 4 Blood and even for Left 4 Dead 2, it all worked. This particular steps helped me, so you can try this out. So these are the possible workarounds which can be done and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.